Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of my brand new design system series where we will build a complete professional level design system step by step right inside Figma. In this video, we focus on the color system. I will show you how to build a complete semantic palette. By the end of this series, you will have a fully functional design system perfect for your client projects, design portfolios or even your own product. This is the first video of the design series and we are going to create our first color palette. And here we are with this image which is slate 100 and slate 1200. So this is the 12 shade of each color and I created this image through GPT you can use this image with this hex values or you can create your own one so now the first thing I am going to deselect everything click on this canvas gray area and as you can see on the right side we have variables and we have styles we are not focusing on styles because styles is feel like a local thing and variable is uh, like a global thing so let's click on variables and here we are and as we can see we haven't created any variables so the window is empty and we are going to create our first variable so the first thing we are going to minimize our UI click on this icon or you can use the shortcut which is shift command and backward slash now we can place the image on the left side and window on the right side something like this now let's slightly expand the window click on this blue button and create our first variable we are focusing only on colors right now so click on colors and as we can see we have created our first collection and this is our first variable so let's quickly rename our collection one click rename to base okay and for the color now this is listed in all variables which is not we are focusing because we have groups of colors and we want a separate group for each color so for creating groups you have to first type the group name and then slash slash will create group so let's type 100 and press return key so as we can see now we have created this slate group and inside the group we have this 100 variable value now quickly duplicate this by pressing shift and press return key 12 time because we have 12 shares of each color so this is 12 now quickly rename this to 200 So we have updated the name now to update the values so for updating values click on this color icon and select eyedropper tool and sample the first color so which is this color and as you can see the hex value is perfectly the same and now sample this 200 and okay so here we have created our first color palette which is slate from 100 to 1200 and now create our second color palette which is gray so let's create right click on slate and make this duplicate group next we need to rename this to gray okay and now as you can see we have already the name we are going to update the values so click on the color and select eyedropper tool and sample the first color same thing for the 200 value and okay so in this video we are going to create our red color palette so we know how to duplicate current group and rename so let's make this red now we have to copy uh, sample each color so let's select 100 and select eyedropper tool make 200 300 
okay so this is our red color palette and now we are going to create our next yellow color palette and before we create our yellow color palette now it's time to define our base color so for the base color and the 600 value should be the base color so let's type base okay i will copy this name and paste it in the gray because these are all same shared so sorry here in the red too so let's type base it is easy once we are going to designing so it is easy to like consider this as a base and from here to the top it will be light tint and the bottom one will be the darkest so now we simply duplicate our red okay and let's rename this to yellow we copy the color okay so here we are with the yellow color palette and now let's create another palette okay so after completing yellow color palette i pause the video and create the rest of the palette possible for the base so it is essential to add this palette because this is the base collection and as much color palette possible you can add uh, because sometimes client don't have color palette so you have multiple options to choose from and create their project so that's why i added possible all the colors like blue indigo teal rose and brown amber sky and lime color so these are the prepared color for the base collection and uh, we are almost done with our color system okay that's it for the today and stay tuned for the upcoming design system videos if that sound exciting make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the upcoming videos in the series thanks bye